When Pacific Coast Highway climbed up the chart, it really changed my life. I moved to Los Angeles in the mid 80s. Um, I was uh, out of high school, um, not really happy with the, the college selections because why I grew up becoming a musician wasn't a valuable uh, 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 option, at least not in my parents' eyes, who are not musicians. And uh, so I studied electronics and I hated it. But I always had, you know, I always have music in me. And I had, I have a studio at the house, so I just kept producing tracks, thinking maybe I could sell them to some other artist, or, you know, long story short, a few years later, I have another CD finished, and that was Pacific Coast Highway. Pacific Coast Highway goes out, it climbs up the chart. Every week Tom from the label calls me back. Well, we, we picked up another three stations, we got another 50 spins. Every week it gets better and better, we moved up the top 10, up to the 5. And like I held my breath, we're in the number 2. Are we going to make a number 1 hit? Yes. First song out ever on the radio, hits number 1. It didn't only hit number 1, it stayed number 1 for 7 weeks and was the most played song the whole year. If I had to describe my own musical style, I think it, it's, a, it's a hybrid of my previous influences. I mean, I classify myself a lot of times as a rock guitar player who learned too much. So there's a lot of rock and roll in my attitude, in my aggressiveness, in my energy. There's a sophistication from that, I like, that I took from jazz as far as the harmonies and, and some of the melodic ideas I have. I have a strong R&B background. I, I used to play in funk bands back in Germany still. It always got to be funky and groovy. Now you put all these elements together uh, with a slick bluesy kind of overtone and uh, you get nails. Ready to Play is the current CD and I'm really especially proud of it because it's the first time I've been in a position to record a record in a concise amount of time where I had a budget to record it, I didn't have to scramble, you know, the previous albums ha happened over a series of years where I could maybe grab a musician that I was uh, had access to at one time and was piecing it together. Now this CD was con uh, constructed in a way that all really happened in a short period of time, so it's more cohesive than my previous records, I would say. I'm really proud of the, the current single, uh, Catnap, which is one of my uh, favorite tracks. It was one of my favorite tracks from the beginning of the CD and, uh, and right now it's getting very uh, good reception on radio so I'm happy about that. I started off doing it on the acoustic guitar, just coming up with this uh, four chord riff. And it's, it's funny because it's a song that's actually in a B-flat minor key, but it starts with a B-flat major chord. So it has this little off-centered, uh, jazzy, bluesy feel to it. On the CD, I strive for sonic perfection, for really, for creating like a masterpiece, like a Michelangelo painting, right? I don't care what I have to do to accomplish that. 
Now live, there's a lot more uh, R&B, a more dance energy. There's a lot of great grooves. I, get, I usually get the crowd up and running. You know, I love going out in the audience. Now uh, unleashed with a wireless system. You know, <laughs> nobody's safe for me now.